All right, boys and girls, welcome to your math lesson. Today we are working on uh, lesson six in chapter 12, and things are going to start get interesting after today. Uh, today we're still looking at shapes, uh, but tomorrow we're going to start using numbers with these shapes. So what we want to focus on today is our essential question, which is how do I use shapes and equal parts? And how do I relate shapes and solids? Remember, the shapes are, the, are two-dimensional, the solids are three-dimensional. And we're trying to figure out today what the relationship is, how they're connected. So before moving on, let's look at the important words, the key terms that you need uh, to remember from the first five lessons. So we've got shape, or two-dimensional, side, angle, solid, or three-dimensional, face, edge, vertex. If you don't remember these, you can go back and watch previous videos, look at the previous lessons, if you've printed out the pages or if you have them, and that really important tool that you have, the glossary. Remember, we took it out of the end of book one, and it should still be in your take-home folder. You're going to need these words um, before we can really complete this chapter. Okay, now let's go on to lesson six. Okay, so what we're trying to do here, it says that the title is Relate Shapes and Solids. Basically, what we want to know is how two-dimensional and three-dimensional objects are related. So, you see a square here, and I, if, if I have six of these squares and I connect them properly, what can I make? A cube, right? So the difference between a cube and a rectangular prism is that a cube's faces are all equal. They're all the same size. So you can see that red square. That could fit on any yeah, in any part of the cube. Okay? So think of the square and the cube as kind of like cousins. Okay, there's a, we can make a cube if we have squares. That's what we're going to be doing as we look at other solids in this lesson. So at the top here, it says guided practice. The faces of three-dimensional shapes, which we're going to call solids, this gets a little confusing, are two-dimensional shapes. And if you look at the helpful hint, a cube has six equal faces. The faces are squares. So you can see that blue cube, if we could break it up, each face would be six squares. So now look at the directions under that. It says circle the faces that make the shape. Number one, what is that purple object, that solid? It's a rectangular prism, or for extra points, it's a it's a cuboid. Good. We've got three shapes on the right side. I see a square, a rectangle, and a triangle. Which of those do we need to build a rectangular prism? So, hopefully. You said a square and a rectangle. The squares are here and at the bottom. So there are two squares. How many rectangles are there? Four. One, two, three, and one in the back. Four. Okay, so four rectangles and two squares help us make a rectangular prism. Number two, this one's a little bit tougher. What do you need 
to make that solid cylinder. You can pause if you need more time. Hopefully, you said this, and if you didn't get this one, it's okay. This is a tricky one. The circle might be easy to find. There's one here. And there's one at the bottom. The rectangle is the one that's a little harder to understand, especially because we don't have any objects here. We're not together where we could feel these things and build them. But that long part of the cylinder that's not a circle is just a rectangle that's wrapped around itself. Number three, what's that orange figure called? Right, it's a pyramid. So, what do we need to make a pyramid? To make this pyramid? For this one, we need all of these. The triangles are on each side. One, two is behind, three, four. And the square is at the bottom. Now, let me explain something about pyramids. A pyramid is something that has a almost any kind of base that's not a circle. So you could have a triangle on the base, and then And for homework, have pages 769 and 70. Okay, you can uh, download them if you don't have them. And don't worry about the answers. I will release them in a few days. I want to give you time to do this and think about it. But make sure at the end of this homework, you know a face, an edge, and a vertex. It's going to be really important. Okay, have a great day. The end.